All right, with pick two four in the 2019 FF Dynasty, mock it up before you fuck it up. We got RVA kickers, and at one four, he selected Miles Sanders. So Pretty much got a back to. on there already. Had had to go Miles Sanders at one four. This is my pick. I'm yep. going JJ. Got to stop this slide. JJ Arcega Whiteside. That was your acronym. Uh, that you have. I didn't make that up. That's that's a thing. J Jaw. J Jaw. Mm-hmm. I don't love it. I hate it. <laughs> I'm just call, I'm just calling him JJ Whiteside. That shit's. I whack. feel good about that. Well, it's not as bad as uh, the team name that I'm picking for here. The Richmond Virginia Kickers. Mm. Terrible team name. Yeah, lack of creativity with the names here. Yeah. Uh, let's see. So. He's got a lot of quarterbacks, which is which is silly because it's a one quarterback league, <laughs> and he's got uh, Cook and Chubb and Duke Johnson and a little JJ and Jerry McKinnon hanging Dalvin. around, hanging around. I said Cook, and uh, let's see what what does he got for wide receivers? Not much. Julio, which makes up for some. Kiki, that's a fun little prospect, and then it's Geronimo. John Brown, Cole Beasley. We're all in on some Geronimo as being a nice piece for a contender this year. Flex yeah. starter Geronimo. Not not bad. Uh, so so I, I'm basically taking Jay Jaw here as the best player available on my board. JJ Arcega Whiteside. <laughs> <laughs> he's uh, he's a bit of a perplexing character. People are kind of all over the place on this guy. Some people love him. Some people hate him. Uh, he didn't take part in the combine, which originally thought that there wasn't anything out there to find of why he didn't do it. And I was like, maybe he just said, you know, screw the combine. I'm not doing it, which I, I really liked that. But I did just read that he had foot surgery after the 18th season, which is why he wasn't able to do the drills. Too busy playing basketball. Uh, well, was both of his parents were uh, professional basketball players in Spain. Um, but he did end up running a 4-4-8 at his pro day. So take that for what it's worth. 4-4-8 and a 4-5. So. Uh, there's some minor injury concerns. Missed three games in 18 due to undisclosed reasons. I hate that. And then suffered an ankle injury in 18 versus Washington. Missed the next two weeks. Uh, but I I think there's a lot to like about this guy. Obviously, I just took him. Um, I want to read a quote for, for, to you from Roto World that I found very notable because usually those guys are staunch assholes with the hate in their hearts and they let it out. But there was some positivity here. They had something nice to say for once, so I ha- I, ha- I got to give it to you here. There are few, if any, college receivers with the physicality and unique high-pointing ability that our Sega Whiteside shows nearly every game. And there it is. He's a high-pointer extraordinary. I already, I already drank. I, saw, I heard you over there drinking. Anytime you say high-point. Got a drink. <laughs> that was a big one. <laughs> Looked like it hurt. I got to burp a little bit. Uh, so... I mean, that's basically this guy's strong suit here is, is, is the high pointing. Uh, PFF charted him with the highest contested catch rate. He had 14 touchdowns in 12 games in 2018, seven of which were in the red zone. I think he makes really good adjustments to the balls when it's in the air. He's good off the line of scrimmage. He ran a decent variety of routes at all different levels of the field. He's got a good shoulder lean. He can get inside and outside of defenders. And to cap all this off... The dominator is in the 86th percentile, and the breakout age is the 74th percentile. Whoa. So he's definitely going to be good. Uh, and then you think about the situation. He got drafted to Eagles, and, and obviously they have a good offense and a good quarterback, but it's a little crowded. And so you might have to wait a little while. Both Alshon and Deshaun Jackson are probably going to be in Philly next year based on the amount of dead cap it would require to cut them. Uh, but either one of them could be gone or both of them in 2021. Nelson Aguilar is probably out of there after this year. They Most picked up likely. his fifth-year option, but they got him. Uh, so this is a, probably more of a long-term play, and you're going to have to wait a little bit. But it's not unheard of that any of those. And Goddard, so. And but any of those, all three of those Target wide eaters. receivers have been hurt throughout their career. So it's yeah. not. It, it, he could find himself oh, on the field. Oh, for sure. This uh, is Alshon Jeffries replacement, in my opinion. That's right. what this is. And as far as I see, what's going on with the Eagles, like. Pretty pretty similar style of play, like not going to beat you necessarily by their crazy route running and their crazy athletic ability. Although JJ's is 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 half decent, I think what you're paying for is the the basketball type box, box out, out kind of be able to out physical you, and you're getting a little plus athlete on top of that with JJ. Yeah, those mitts. If the ball gets close, yeah. he's vice gripping it, and it's his ball. Right, and so I, I, I like the I like the pick for the Eagles, and you know when the Eagles are picking people, you got to be uh, paying attention to it a little bit. They've been pretty solid at picking these uh, 
pick and dra- uh, draft picks as of as of late. Um, and it's always sure. interesting. Good front office. So you're always a little bit more intrigued, at least the public seems to be, when the Eagles are making moves. Um, I didn't love Arcega Whiteside. It, not that I dislike him, but he wasn't like some people had him really high up there. And I, I, I'm down with this range with with Arcega Whiteside. So yeah, like I said, I could have picked him last pick. I think this is a is a really good pick. I think he's going to be a really strong red zone. He's a he's a kind of rebound like player in my opinion with some athletic upside. Yeah, absolutely. Shall we move to pick two five? Let's do it. 